When the Pharisees asked, where is the kingdom of God? Where is the kingdom of God? He told them, the kingdom of God is within you. The kingdom of God is here with us in the mighty name of Jesus. And we are receiving in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen? Amen. Oh, hallelujah. It's a season of revival. Hey! Today is your healing day. Today is your restoration day. Today you receive by faith. Yeah, yeah, the kingdom of God is here. He is with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your restoration deliverance. Oh, receive it today. Oh, yes, you receive the grace to receive your miracle. Oh, Rebaba, Rebaba, Shendeba, Kante, Rebaba, Ribakante, Sheka, Oh, Rebaba, Shekin, do what you were not able to do before. Yamade, Rebaba, Baba, 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 Oh, Rebaba, Sheke, Pakante, Oh, be rivet, be rivet, be rivet. Oh, Baba, Baba, Shekin, Baba, Rebaba, Shakante, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's here with us. The Spirit of God is here with us. You are receiving it. You are receiving it in the mighty name of Jesus. I was saying, can evangelists continue and continue and continue and continue? Amen. I take this opportunity to welcome each one of you. You are in the right place and the right time. Share with your friends and tell them. And next time, tell them. The Spirit of God is here in Keneso. Amen. And even when you leave, it is going to be in, in you. Amen. Amen. If Peter's shadow was healing, healing, what about now? We can in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We just have to believe. Amen. Let me see our first time visitors. Our first time visitors, if you are. Amen. Give a hand clap our first time visitor. Amen. Elder Lois, you receive our first time visitor. Amen. Returning visitors. Amen. Amen. I want to thank God for this opportunity. I don't take it for granted. I'm a vessel to deliver the word. I also honor the grace of Apostle David and Senior Pastor Teresia. Amen. Because it is God who have given them to us. And we are partakers of their grace. Amen. I also want to honor the pastors, the elders, the evangelists. Amen. All the leaders, all the workers who keep this house running behind the scenes. Without you, the front scene cannot run. Amen. So let's give a hand clap to them. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I also want you to give a hand clap to yourself. Amen. And even more so, let us give a hand clap to our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is in this place? Who is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore? Yeah. Yes, he's here with us. He's here with us. Hallelujah. Today, our middle school and our high school are staying in the house. Amen. So, if you are out there, going to the bathroom, and you see one, tell them, 
They need to be in here. Amen. We love them. We love them. We love them because like evangelists said, even our young ones, the spirit of God is being downloaded in them. Amen. They will prophesy. Amen. Amen. So we don't take them for granted. We love them. There's a prophecy in this house that has been said that the revival will be ushered, brought by the youth. Revival is here now. Amen? So now what we are declaring, that they will take and run it with fire. Amen? Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Apostle started a series or declared this is the season of revival and said it's a time of revival fire and he declared that we may we receive the grace, the grace to host revival fire. Amen? And I believe we are receiving the grace. Some have received it. Some are receiving. We are receiving because it's from glory to glory, from faith to faith, from level to level. Amen? Amen. So may we receive the grace to host revival. Amen? Amen? He also said we must prepare. We must prepare. And when evangelist was talking about mental transformation and she taught us so powerfully on Wednesday about mental transformation, that was one of the key that we must have. Like he said that we ma what we must do to prepare for the revival, one of the things is mental transformation. Amen? And uh, we've been focusing on Romans 7.25 when we are looking at uh, mental transformation. That says at, uh, that, um, and those who have mics can read Romans 7, 25. It says, I thank God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So then, with the mind, I myself serve the law of God. But with the flesh, the law of sin. Amen. So I am not going to repeat that because our evangelist powerfully dissected that and if we have received. Amen. Philippians 2, 5 tells us, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ. Amen. We have been created in his image. Amen. He said that he has given us power and authority. So for us to execute that, we must have his mind. Amen. What was the mind of Christ? Amen. Just ask yourself, go back to the word and look what was in the mind of Christ. He was obedient. Amen. He only wanted to do the will of the Father. Another key of what we must do is speak the word of God faithfully. Amen. Only through the word of God that we are able to see light. Only through the word of God we can shine light to the dark areas. Mark eleven twenty four says, therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Amen. Amen. Whatever. It is through the word of God that you will be able to receive whatever you ask for. Amen. Whatever means whatever. Amen. It doesn't mean you will receive some of it. No. But you have to ask for it. Amen. You have to ask for it according to the will of God. And the will of God is totally clear in the word of God. Amen. The, the Lord told Joshua in Joshua 1.8. If we, uh, you can read. Miss Purity. All right. This book of the law shall not depart from me or mouth. But you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and you will have good success. Amen. So the word of the Lord should never depart from our mouth. Amen. We shall meditate on it day and night. Amen. Amen. This means when you're driving, when you're cooking, when you're showering. Amen. You are meditating. You are speaking the word of the Lord. Amen. You are declaring, I shall live and not die. Amen. You are declaring, my children are taught of the Lord. Amen. You are declaring by the stripes of Jesus, I'm healed. Oh, you, when you are driving, when you are cooking. Amen. Let your mouth be a mouth of the ready writer. The word of God says that the mouth has the power of life and death. But we choose life, amen? Because life is in the word of God. We are going to speak the word of God. Revival fire for us to host it. The word of God has to be in us day and night, amen? 
Do you know research shows whatever you watch last or listen to is what manifests when you are asleep. So even playing the word of God, reading the word of God before you sleep. Amen? Amen. And if somebody calls you <laughs> at night, tell them a good night and a word of God. Amen? Amen. The third one is persistent prayers. And on Friday night, there was a Kesha, powerful Kesha. Amen. Can we uh, give a hand clap to the Kesha, to the powerful ministrations that we had? And we prayed for you. If you did not make it, we prayed for you because like Elder Mary said, this flight is taking off and we are leaving nobody behind. Amen? So we prayed for you in the mighty name of Jesus and the word of God says that we shall send the word of God and we sent it and we declared you have received. Amen? And next time you will be here. Amen? Amen. So persistent prayers. The Lord Jesus Christ told us that men should not lose heart. We should always continue to pray. He taught us how to pray. Amen. So we need to persist in our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. First Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. If it's there, we can read, please. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Should not lose heart. We should continue to persist in prayer. Amen, amen. Persistent prayers, amen. It's through prayers that we are able to execute the kingdom of God here on earth. Amen, amen. 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 Apostles said that revival is when heaven invades earth. Amen. amen. But heaven can only invade, invade earth when we are able to be in the persistent prayers and the presence of God and obeying his word. Amen. That is the only way we can be able to host this revival in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus taught us how to pray. Amen. And in the Lord's prayer, there's, there's a portion that says, let the kingdom of God come as it is in heaven. Amen. That is our portion. We have been brought here on earth to execute the purpose of God. Amen. And for God to execute his purpose, he has to use a vessel. He has to use a body. He has to use a vessel. Amen. And for Satan too, even Satan uses a vessel. Amen. But we declare in the mighty name of Jesus that we are the ones the Lord has called. Amen. Amen. We are going to see a mighty revival in our homes, in our children, in our businesses, in our bodies. Amen. Oh, we are going to see it in our nations, in our cities. But only through if we can be persistent in prayers. Amen. Oh, the last one, the other one he said, number four was obedience to instructions and principles. Amen. You, we can read Second Corinthians ten. For though we walk, six. for for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments. And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. And being ready to, put, to punish all disobedience when, you, when your obedience is fulfilled. Amen, amen. Obedience to instructions and principles of God. Amen. Obedience to the word of God. Amen. There are certain principles that has to be fulfilled. Amen. Whatever the Lord has told us in his word, we have to obey. And we can only know what he has said in his word if we read it. Amen. If we soak ourselves in it. Amen. And we declare in the mighty name of Jesus that this is our portion. Amen. That we'll be able to punish every disobedience when our obedience is fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Do you know children watch what we do? Do you know children Listen to what we say, and they do what we do and say what we say. And in the mighty name of Jesus, may we be examples to our children, amen? May the word of God guide us in everything, amen? And that's when we will be able to stand and enter boldly in the throne of grace, where we can obtain mercy when we are obedient to the instructions of God, amen? And it is when we can be able to punish every disobedient, amen? We will be able to tell every evil spirit to calm down, to be below our feet. Amen? 
The fifth one is sacrifice. Living a sacrificial life in our bodies, our temples. Uh, our bodies are the temple of the Lord. Amen? Amen? In everything we do, we live a sacrificial life. And uh, Romans 12, 1 says, Beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your, your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is your re uh, reasonable service. Amen. 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 Living a life of sacrifice. Amen. Amen. Jesus is sacrificed. Yet he was God came as man. He sacrificed. Amen. And from his sacrifice, we have eternal life. Amen. He died on the cross. Even when he cried to the father, may you take this cup from me. But he cried three times, but he still sacrificed. Amen. Number six is preparation. We have to be prepared to host the revival. The revival is here. Yes, it is here. But can we personally host it? Can as a church host it? Yes, we can because we have the word of God. We have been urged to prepare. And uh, Proverbs 21, 31 says, The horse is prepared for the day of battle, but deliverance is of the Lord. So prepare. Prepare, prepare, and the deliverance will be brought by the Lord. If you are praying 30 minutes, pray one hour. If you are fasting a day, fast two days, amen? Preparing in everything, amen? Always being ready because as you go to work, as you walk, amen? In the mighty name of Jesus, you will be ready, amen? One time I was driving behind a car, and I'm telling you this car was going out and going out of the way, and I'm like, this, this person is sleeping, and I said, in the mighty name of Jesus, if I'm driving behind this person, this person will not get an accident, amen? This person, I declare, if they are asleep, they are awake. If they are using their phone, they stop. If they are drunk, they get sober. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I followed the car slowly and slowly. And the guy who started straightening the car. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I declared he will get home safe. Amen. Prepare, prepare, prepare. We carry revival. Amen. Wherever we go, we bring change. Amen. One time we were walking in the ICU with my friend. And this old lady was in life support. She was from Africa. And the family every day came and the doctors were saying, pull the plug, pull the plug, pull the plug. And my friend and I looked at each other. We said, they are not going to pull the plug. We are here to execute the purpose. She called me because now I left the ICU. She said, I miss you. We used to do uh, uh, exploits together. I told her, you continue there. I continue where I am. Amen. I'm telling you, every day the doctors would come. Let's pull the plug. And we talked to that family. They were from either Nigeria or Ghana. And we told them, <laughs> I know there are doctors in the house. <laughs> All right. Now Jesus is the doctor. Amen. The doctor of doctors. And we, we went aside. Huh? Say no. <laughs> and we are the nurses. Huh? So we are like, don't say, say no. Don't agree. <laughs> Because we knew, we knew in our hearts that this lady will make it. Amen? So we would go there. So many people would refuse to take care of her because now she was becoming so much work because she had stayed there for over a month in the ICU. And we would say, I'll take care of her. Give me, give me. Because you know when you are washing her and cleaning her, you are declaring the word of God. I want to tell you she was ex exhibited. I'm telling you she came to say thank you to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Her family came and brought us flowers and uh, donuts. And I'm telling you. We have the power to execute, amen? To execute the purpose of God here on earth in the mighty name of Jesus, wherever you work, amen? When you are talking to somebody, if they are sick and you're in a hospital and you know that some people receive the word of God, when you ask them, do you know the Lord? They tell you, do you know God? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, a, I'm an atheist. So continue talking to them. And inside you, because sometimes you, can, you cannot force it on them because it is illegal where you work. Declare, when they see me, amen, I carry the power of God. When they see me, even before I talk to them, I declare it is coming down, those demons, in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. We are able to do it in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. 
Amen. The seventh one is uh, discipline and consistency. Discipline and consistency. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 2.27 says, but I, but I discipline my body and bring it into subjection, lest when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always bounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain Amen. in Amen. the Lord. You can go up to there. So always being disciplined. Amen. Always being disciplined in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. No matter what comes our way, sometimes you don't want to wake up and pray. Sometimes you're feeling so tired. Let's just ask the Holy Spirit to help us be disciplined. Amen. 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 Also, Apostle declared that from the revival, we should expect there are four things, and I'm sure there are many more. He will declare that we are going to expect. Number one is unprecedented favor. Amen. Amen. We are going to expect and we are going to see in our own personal lives as a ministry, amen, we are going to see unprecedented favor. Unprecedented means something that has never been done before, amen. amen. A job, job openings will be open for you, amen. amen. In, that, in, that, in that facility, in that company, in the corporate world, amen, in the business world, the, the, a door will be open for you. They will create new contracts just for you. And they will say it's never been done before. But because you carry Jesus, amen, because you carry Jesus, when the horse carried the master, amen, when the donkey carried the master, even the donkey grow, was glorified, amen. So you carry Jesus, amen. And so unprecedented favor is your portion. Divine speed. Divine speed in the mighty name of Jesus is what we will see. Divine speed in our lives. Divine speed in this house. Divine speed in this city because we are in this city in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It doesn't matter how old you are. There will be divine speed. There are some who will go back to school. There are some in the mighty name of Jesus. What you have been waiting for, some regal systems. They are going to be acquainted unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Divine speed. The phone call you've been waiting, oh God. You are going to hear it because of the divine spirit of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. May we receive the grace to host revival. May we receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. The next thing he said was restoration. We are going to see restoration. And whatever the devil has stolen from us, we declare he's going to return. Seven falls in the mighty name of Jesus. That is the word of the Lord. That the devil will return anything he has stolen from us. Our health, our finances, our joy. He is going to return in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever has been stolen, oh, he is returning now in the mighty name of Jesus. Another thing he declared we are going to see is multiplication and increase in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rababash, this place will not contain us. In the mighty name of Jesus. You'll be multiplied in your joy. In the grace to do what God has called you to do. As a father, as a wife. May you receive multiplication of grace. In the mighty name of Jesus. We receive the grace of many weddings here. Increase of weddings. Our ladies, our girls who are due for marriage. We receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Multiplication and increase is our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. We can only believe. We can only believe in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Or may we obey the word of the Lord. May we obey the word of the Lord. May we not take the word of God as a word from men, but it is the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, may everything we do may be a sweet aroma to him in the mighty name of Jesus. The praises be a sweet aroma that when we come here, even before hands are laid on anyone, you receive your healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Can we prepare can we be disciplined in every area of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus? Can we have faith? Can we have faith that he who promises is able to deliver? He is able to deliver in the mighty name of Jesus. Can we have faith? Jesus said, 
if you have faith, you can move a mountain. You can say to this mountain, be removed and be cast to the sea. And you're going to have whatever you say in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the faith today. Receive the faith today to push till something happens. To push for your children. Hey, we do not walk by sight, but we walk by faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rebababashende. May we receive faith. And today the topic is faith. Oh, today we are talking about faith. We transition to faith. And the Bible says without faith, we cannot please God. May we receive the faith to host this revival. May we receive the faith to execute in the mighty name of Jesus. That when you go to a hospital, you are going to tell a patient rise up and walk you will be healed even without telling them you are there washing them and you know and you know when you are doing their hair i know one person <laughs> told me that when she's doing the hair of those young men you know nowadays they do them like that like that eh? so she declares upon their life amen declaring huh you're not going to say that uh, nowadays they are braiding. Uh -uh. We're going to braid, braid as we declare in the mighty name of Jesus. May we receive the wisdom and the grace to host revival in the mighty name of Jesus. May God give us wisdom to be able to raise this generation. Amen? This generation. Because many will come looking beautiful, looking all colored, yellow, green, here, yeah? Have you ever seen yellow, green, orange, here, here, here? They are going to come in the mighty name of Jesus. And we will tell them they look so beautiful because they do in the mighty name of Jesus. Because it's the heart that matters. Amen? And they are coming to worship the Lord. Amen? That was not the topic for here. We are talking of revival, fire, and the grace to host revival. Faith, 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 faith. Without faith, we cannot praise God. And Hebrew 11, 6 tells us, Hallelujah. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Amen. Without faith, we cannot praise God. So we have to receive faith. That is, is a season of revival. And revival means that the heaven is coming here on earth. Amen? Amen. We are going to see healing, deliverance, and restoration. Amen? We are going to do things we were not able to do before. Amen? So may we have faith so that we can please God. God does not pressure with those who to, with those who don't have faith. Amen. Hebrew 10 38 says, 10 38 says, Now the just shall live by faith, but if anyone draws back, my soul has no pleasure in him. Can you imagine that the soul of the Lord has no pressure on anyone who does not have faith? May we receive the grace to receive faith. Amen. Amen. In the word of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Faith praises and honors and glorifies God. Amen. First mm -hmm. Peter 1, 7 says that the genuineness of your faith being much more precious than gold that ooh, perishes though it is tested by fire mm -hmm. may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That the genuineness of your faith be much more precious than God that perishes. Can you imagine that our faith is more precious than God in the mighty name of Jesus? Amen. Our faith praises the Lord. Our, our faith honors the Lord and glorifies him in the mighty name of Jesus. Because it, it reveals Jesus Christ. Amen. It reveals the power that he brought on earth. Amen. And by faith, we are able to do what he has said we can do. Faith is called a substance. Hebrew 11, 1 says that. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Amen. It is a substance. Amen. It is a substance. And it amplifies, says, now faith is the assurance. It is the assurance. Amen. Mm -hmm. The title D, con confirmation of the things hoped for, divinely guaranteed, and the evidence of the things not seen. 
the conviction of their reality. Faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical senses. Amen? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter what you are seeing right now in any situation in your life. But it is through faith. As long as you can see the word of God, as long as you can read the word of God, like Pastor Kim was declaring, that every dead bone, every dry bone, you plug the word of God in every situation. Amen? Amen. If you are, whether it is rebellion in your children, just plug the word of God. Declare, my children will be taught of the Lord. Amen? Amen. Declare that my children have favor with God and men and they grow in wisdom and stature like Christ did in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. Faith is a substance of the things hoped for. And we hope in the word of God. We receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen? 2 Corinthians 4.18 says, Well, we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are internal in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen? We have internal things in the mighty, internal things in the name of Jesus. It is in the word of God, and we believe in the mighty name of Jesus. They are manifesting during this season. We have heard before that faith is a currency of heaven. Faith is a currency. Amen? A currency exchanges U.S. dollars, the euro. Amen? Kenya shillings. We can exchange. You can buy. Amen? You can go with your currency currency and buy what you need in the mighty name of Jesus. And it's by faith we are able to bring heaven down here on earth in the mighty name of Jesus. By faith we can have whatever whatever we say in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen? Amen. Let's read uh, Luke 17, 5 to 6. And the apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. So the Lord said, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree be pulled up by the root and be planted in in the sea and it will obey you amen amen if you have faith like a mustard seed we have seen a demonstration before of a mustard seed it is so little you just need that faith, amen? You need faith in the word of God. You need faith with the promiser, amen? Because he's able to do what he has said, amen? His word does not return to him void. So it is a currency. It is a substance faith that we are able by the name of Jesus, amen, to execute the kingdom. On the ladies' <laughs> meeting, um, when we had our ladies teaching last Sunday, one of the... Ladies who was teaching, uh, Minister Rose, said there was this lady who was of age, of getting married somewhere, and she stayed wrong without getting married, and she decided now she would be tithing for two. She writes her check, and then she names her check a Mr. So Kamau. All right? What, I, that is crazy faith, isn't it? Crazy faith. Hallelujah. May we receive that kind of faith. So she wrote for one year. Can you imagine one year writing a check four times or five times a week? A tithe. Tithe, you know, for the husband and for herself. And I'm telling you, in one year, according to that testimony, she was married by a Mr. Kamau. And guess what? The sweetness of the testimony, the Mr. Kamau came loaded. Say loaded. Oh, loaded. Yo, oh, he came with the loaded. So all that tithe was covered. <laughs> Oh, may you receive the grace, our ladies, to receive loaded husbands with the word of God, with the spirit of God, loaded to serve the Lord, and also loaded with finances. Amen. But, but, but don't go choosing. Don't, don't, don't go looking like, uh, let me see your bank account. But they will come. Amen. You have to declare. I have a friend of mine who hanged a, a, a gown. A wedding gown in her closet and she used to declare, 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 declare and guess what? Eventually she had a wedding. So is, who that is revival fire. Huh? You are waiting, you start it. Start it in your house. The apostle said when revival comes, you know it will also be in your house. Start. Hang a dress. Go hang. Amen? Or buy some shoes. I don't know. <laughs> a man's shoes. What size do you like? You buy. Put them there. Purity is laughing. Yeah, purity do that. 
<laughs> in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Faith is a shield. Faith is a shield. Amen. Let's not stress. Don't stress about this life. The Bible says in Philippians 4, do not be anxious about anything, but in prayers and supplication. Amen. Let your request be known to the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Don't stress. Go to the Lord boldly. Let him know. Amen. Enjoy life in Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Faith is a shield. Ephesians 6, 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fierce dots of the wicked one. Amen. Above all. Above all. This is when... Uh, Paul was speaking about the armor of God, amen? That all, uh, with all the armors, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, amen? Above all, above all that, that we may take the shield of faith in the mighty name of Jesus so that we are able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one in the mighty name of Jesus. It's through faith that we are able in the mighty name of Jesus to quench every dart of the wicked one, that we are believing the word of God and declaring it and having faith like a mustard seed in the name of Jesus. We are able to fight every arrow of the enemy. Amen? Having faith in speaking the word of God, in declaring his word in every situation. Amen? The Lord tells us if he is for us, what can be against us? Amen? Nothing can be against us because we have the Lord, we have his word in the mighty name of Jesus. John, in, in John, he says that the word became fresh. Amen? And to out among us. The word of God is fresh in us. It is dwelling in us. May we manifest it. May we receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus. May we have confidence in the, in the promiser because the promiser is faithful. Amen? 2 Corinthians 1.20 says that for all the promises of God in him are yes and in him, amen, to the glory of God through us. Amen. His promises are yes and amen to the glory of God through us. Us, amen. We are the, the ones who are going to execute his promises, amen, because it is going to be through us. It's going to be through a vessel, but we have to believe. We have to have faith in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. We said without faith, it is impossible to praise him in the name of Jesus. May we receive the faith, amen. May we lean on him in everything we do. May we lean on him in the mighty name of Jesus. It's through leaning on him and, um, Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 tells us that. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. That is faith, amen. Leaning on God in everything. Don't look with your bare eyes, amen, what you are seeing. You have something that you're doing in Kenya. You're looking at it. You're seeing it is difficult. Lean on God, amen. Tell him that he will accomplish what he said, amen. Because when you started that project, he knew, amen? So he's going to accomplish it in our children. When he gave us our children, he gave us as an inheritance in the mighty name of Jesus, amen? The Bible says that our children will stop the enemies at the gate, amen? And therefore we declare our children will be taught of the Lord. They will serve of the Lord. They are for signs and wonders. We will lean on the Lord, amen? And his word. In the mighty name of Jesus. First Timothy 6, 12 tells us that. Fight the good fight of faith. And lay hold on eternal life to which you were also called. And have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Amen. So faith, like we said, is a shield. Because there's a fight, amen. And the fight of, a uh, good fight of faith. May we fight a good f uh, fight of faith. When those arguments come in your mind, like we were being taught about mental transformation, those arguments, bring them down with the word of God. Amen? Fight a good fight of faith. And as we continue to believe, like that lady who believed for one year in the mighty name of Jesus, and she got it. Amen? Let us fight a good fight of faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us declare the word of the Lord in our lives. Hebrews 10.23 says that let us hold fast 
fast the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful. Amen. What has the Lord promised you this morning? What have you been hoping for the Lord? What have you been waiting on the Lord for? The Bible says those who wait on the Lord will run and not bury. Where are you? They will walk and not faint. Amen. What have you been waiting for the Lord this morning? He is going to do it. Amen. But we have to receive faith. We have to receive faith in the mighty name of Jesus. We have to confess his able without wavering. Amen. You cannot say you are so old to do this. You cannot say I'm so old to get married. I'm so old to build. I'm so old to do. No, it is, you are not old. If Sarah received the grace, amen, and the strength, yes, we can in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God is not a respecter of persons. Amen. He's not a partiality God. Amen. Only those who receive the faith, the grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Faith grows. Amen. Faith, faith grows. We read. Um, okay. Faith grows. We read the word. We get increased in faith of his word. Amen. Amen. Faith grows. The faith you had yesterday is not what you have today. Amen. The faith you had before COVID is not what you have today. The faith grows. When we read the word of God, faith comes by reading and hearing and hearing the word of God. Amen. Let's read 2 Peter 1, 5 to 10. But also for this very reason, given all diligence, add to your faith virtual to virtual knowledge to knowledge, self-control to self-control, perseverance to perseverance, God godliness to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness love for if these things are yours and bound you will be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our lord jesus christ for he who lacks these things is short-sighted even to blind blindness and has forgotten that he was cleansed for his old sins therefore brethren be even more delicate Del oh my God. Diligent. Diligent to make your call and election sure. For if you do these things, you will never stumble. Amen. Faith grows. Amen. And faith, from faith, we add virtue, knowledge of the word of God. Amen. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Amen. So faith grows from one level to another level in the mighty name of Jesus. There is self-control. Amen. Because the things we used to do, we can't do them anymore. Amen. The places we used to go, we cannot go anymore. When we are, we are hosting revival. Amen. Being an example to our children. Amen. Walking in godliness and brotherly love in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And we declare that we will be fruitful in the mighty name of of Jesus and our fruits will remain amen in the mighty name of Jesus there will be no barrenness in any of us in the mighty name of Jesus by faith we declare we receive the grace of faith in the mighty name of Jesus may our faith grow this morning may our faith grow to host this revival in the mighty name of Jesus we declare may our faith grow oh in the name of Jesus may you receive the faith in the mighty name of Jesus to receive your miracle today because it's going to happen. Oh, as Christ says, we receive the faith and the grace to host Kennesaw in the name of Jesus. To go to the cities of Atlanta and Georgia. We receive the grace. This altar has been declared that it is a well. It is an oasis in the mighty name of Jesus. And therefore we declare that from this well, many will come to drink healing, restoration and deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. We send the word of God because they send the word of God and heal their diseases. We call them forth. We call them forth. We get in Kennesaw State and we get declare oh god those youth are coming here oh we have favor with the kennesaw we are taking the gospel in kennesaw oh we have favor with the mayor of kennesaw with the sheriffs of kennesaw oh our faith is growing our faith is growing oh thank you jesus i don't know how you walked in today hey we are going to preach faith has, has to start it grows an expansion of capacity. Amen? Our capacity is being expanded. Amen? 
you are going to do things you are not able to do before because this is revival fire unprecedented favor there is restoration in the mighty name of Jesus according to his her faith level of faith each one of him or her will be able to host this revival amen as individuals and families and as a church according to our faith we will be able to host this revival. We will be able to execute the purpose of God. Matthew 9, 27 to 31. I don't know if we have it. Mm -hmm. We can read it in the mighty name of Jesus. When Jesus departed from there, two blind men followed him crying out and saying, Son of David, have mercy on us. And when he had come into the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus said to them, do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, according to your faith, let it be to you. Their eyes were opened, and Jesus warned them, saying, see that no one knows it. But when they had departed, they spread the news about him in all that country. Hallelujah. Faith brings praises, honor, and glory to God. Amen. It is according to our faith. According to our faith. Amen. It will be done unto us. Amen. We must have faith in our personal lives as a church and as individuals, as a family, husband and wife. Amen. Whether single moms have faith in the Lord that he is able to deliver. He is able to accomplish every promise he has said. Amen. We see the blind men were healed. And they are, Jesus asked them, do you believe? He said they believe. Amen. And according to their faith, they received their sight. Even when Jesus told them not to tell. Amen. The evidence was real. They were not seen, but now they can see. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare according to our faith, let it be granted unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your Father, according to your faith, let it be granted according to your faith what you need for your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. According to our faith, as Christ's services, we declare we are receiving what the Lord has told us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Matthew 8, 13 says, Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way and your, you, as you have believed, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed the same hour. Amen? You know the centurion um, told the Jesus, You don't have to come to my house. Amen? Just say it and my servant will be healed. Amen? Even without an outer call. You are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It is by faith. Amen. Amen. And we are not saying we are not having another call. Only the Holy Spirit can lead. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. But by faith we receive in the mighty name of Jesus. We build. We can build the capacity of our faith from faith to faith. Amen. Amen. Our capacity grows. The centurion's capacity had grown. He believed that Jesus did not have to go touch the servant. But just saying the word, amen, that the servant will be healed. And when he went home, he found that the servant was healed the same hour in the mighty name of Jesus. Romans 1.17 tells us that, For in the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. Amen. The righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. Being righteous. Amen. When you have faith, it reveals righteousness in God because you are trusting the one who has promised in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The just shall live by their faith. Amen. We will live by our faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Faith is, can be built. Faith can be received in the mighty name of Judah. Jesus. Jude one twenty says, "For in it, for oops, sorry." But you, beloved, building yourself up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Amen. But you, beloved, build yourself up in your most holy faith. So faith cannot be built by anybody else. Only me, I can build my faith. Only you can build your faith in the mighty name of Jesus, our most holy faith, and pray in the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. Always pray. Always declaring the word of God. Believing. 
Amen. Believing that he is able to do what he has told us to do. We build the capacity of our faith by the word of God. Amen. Amen. By the word of God. How are we building the capacity of our faith? Reading the word of God. Amen. Hebrews 11, 3 says, By faith we understand that worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of the things which are visible. Amen. Amen. The world was framed by the word of God. Jesus said, God, God said in Genesis, let there be, let there be, and there was, amen. So today we declare by faith, let there be healing in our lives, amen. Let there be restoration in our children. By faith we declare, oh God, those who are waiting for their wombs to be open, let it be open in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Because by faith, we will be able to receive Amen. And by faith, we can change the course. Amen. We are, our tongues are tongues of ready writers. We can be able to execute the purpose of God through speaking the word of God. Amen. Through declaring the word of God is creative. Amen. Creative in the mighty name of Jesus. We have had testimonies of generals of God who have prayed and we see people became Torah. People became skinny, amen, in the mighty name of Jesus because they declared in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Wombs have been opened in this altar, amen, and we've had that testimony before and many more we will hear in the mighty name of Jesus. Acts 20, 32. So now, so now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are um, sanctified. sanctified. Amen. So it tells us that, so now, brethren, I commend to you, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. I think this is evangelist's favorite <laughs> scripture. She, I hear her always praying with it on fire. Because we have to use the word of God. Amen. So now, brethren, I commend to you, to you to God, to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among those who are sanctified. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, only the word of God can be able to give us an inheritance. Amen. May the word of God never depart from our mouth. May, you, may we use it in every situation in the name of Jesus. Hebrews 4, 2 tells us, for indeed the gospel was preached to us as well as to them. But the word which they had did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in those who had it. Oh, this is not our portion. Amen. The word of God is going to profit us. We are going to mix the, the word of God with faith. Amen. May we receive the grace. Amen. To declare the word of God in every situation in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We declare. We speak. Amen. You don't even have to be shouting. You just need to be speaking. Amen. You don't have to shout. We all have different voices and different tones. Amen. You just need to be speaking. Amen. You, don't, you just need to open it and speak it in the mighty name of Jesus. When Jesus was tempted. Amen. Was tempted after 40 days fasting. He told the devil, it is written. It is written. Amen. Even without quoting from this verse, 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 he said it is written. It is good to know, but he said it is written. Amen. Men shall not live by bread alone. It is written. You shall not tempt the Lord, Lord, your God. It is written. By the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. It is written. Our children will be taught by the Lord. It is written. He will teach you how to profit. It is written. You shall live and not die. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, it is written. Amen. It is written. Oh, we are able to change the report of the doctor. We are able to report to change the report of the judge. In the mighty name of Jesus, because it is written, he is the judge. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is written. Hey, the word of God, we sent and healed them. Amen. And delivered them from their destruction. Amen. Psalms 1720. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. It is written. 
we send the word of God even to those who are not here. Our family members in Kenya, oh, our children who are stuck in drugs, we send the word of God and declare that they be delivered oh, from their destruction. Oh, we declare oh, that they are receiving the Lord. Hey, we receive the grace to host this revival. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, it is written in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We confess the word of God because his promises are yes and amen. We declare by the stripes of Jesus that we are healed in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. The, the word of God says that in Isaiah 55, 11, so shall my word be, be that goes forth from my mouth. I don't think we have it there. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the things of which I sent it. Hallelujah. We are sending the word of God in every situation. At your job place, it doesn't matter. Amen? It doesn't matter what the boss may be trying. But you are sending the word of God now. I want to see you speaking and sending the word of God in every situation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Send the word of God and declare you have favor. You have unprecedented favor in the mighty name of Jesus. And declare no weapon fashioned against you can prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering. Because who, who he who promised is faithful. May our capacity of the level of our faith grow in the mighty name of Jesus. The capacity, the level of our faith determines the exploits we command. Amen? The only the level, the capacity of the level of our faith determines the exploits we command. Amen? As a church, we have received the faith to command this territory. We are taking it over for Jesus. And in whatever situation, personal situation in your life, receive the capacity of faith. Amen? To command exploits in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen? We are not born with capacity. We have to build our capacity. Amen? We build our capacity by the word of God, by prayers, amen, and by doing everything that we have spoken about, amen. We build our capacity by hearing and hearing the word of God, amen. Faith requires obedience of the word of God, amen. Mary, the mother of Jesus, during um, the wedding, amen, amen, amen. I don't know if we have time to read all that, but we can read from John 2. 1 to 10. I don't know if we have it. He told them, whatever he says, do it. Whatever he says, do it. So may you go to the word of God in every situation. Like Pastor Kim was saying, identify that dead area in your life. And whatever, and plug in the word of God. And whatever the word of God says, do it in the mighty name of Jesus. Do it, do it. Obey, amen. Because it's through obedience, we'll be able to punish every disobedience in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. I like these servants at the wedding. They were told, go fill the pots with water, amen. Amen. You know, Jesus had told the mother, Woman, my time hasn't come. <laughs> but the mother was full of faith. So the faith started with the mother. Do you know that? And even when Jesus told uh, the man, my woman, my hour has not come, she turned around and told the disciples, whatever he tells you, do it. Because there was not going to be no shame in the wedding when Jesus is in the house. Amen? When you carry Jesus, no shame. When you carry Jesus, as you cannot be ashamed. Your family cannot be ashamed. It doesn't matter what the devil wanted to bring in your family. You cannot be ashamed. Your children are going to serve the Lord. It doesn't matter what they are doing right now. We do not walk by sight, but we walk by faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, whatever he tells you, do it. Do it. Amen. Amen. Don't let don't, what you do on your right hand, or the left hand, don't let your right hand know. Just do it. Don't go asking, should I, should I? He told me, he told me. No, do it. Amen? Just do it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen? And so 
Mary, the mother of Jesus, told them, whatever he tells you, do it. And they filled the pots with water. Amen. They went and did it. He told them, fill the pots with water. It, it, and it didn't matter how he looked. Then he told them, draw some of out and take it to the master of the feast. And they took it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, ba, 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 ba. Who knows that this was the best wine ever in the name of Jesus. And the master of the wedding was asking, hey, how come you brought the good wine last? It's because there was a man to obey in the mighty name of Jesus. If you obey, you are going to host this revival. If you obey, you are going to see deliverance and restoration. If we obey, we are going to see things we've never seen before in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hebrews 11 talks about these heroes of faith. Heroes of faith from all the way down. He says, by faith, by faith, amen. His famous record, the, 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 the hall of faith, amen. That where all those heroes are listed. And we see what, uh, by faith, they were able to execute the purposes of God, amen. By faith, Abel offered a good excellent sacrifice. Amen. By faith, Enoch was translated. Amen. We know Enoch walked with the Lord. Amen. His presence was, pre was, uh, was present with him in the Lord. Can we walk with the Lord. Amen. By faith, Noah obeyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. By faith, Sarah, Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered and delivered a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Amen. Can we judge him faithful who has promised this revival fire, who has promised with this fire, we are going to see things we've never seen before. We are going to see the sick being healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, by faith. Oh, our names are going to be written by faith in the mighty name of Jesus. The writer says that the time filled him even to talk about to talk about Gideon, Barak, and Simon, and Jephthah, then David, and Samuel, who also by faith executed and subdued kingdom by walking in faith. Amen? Can we walk by faith, not by sight in the name of Jesus? Are we able to host this revival in the mighty name of Jesus? Oh, Rababashe, can't tell the Oh, Ribabashe, let us rise on our feet. Let us rise on our feet as we receive this grace. To host revival. Oh, Rabababa Shendeba. Oh, Rebebe Shendeba Raken. Oh, we declare every dragon is falling today. It is falling in the mighty name of Jesus because we host the revival. We carry Jesus. And when we carry Jesus, we carry revival. In the mighty name of Jesus, the altar of God was in the house of Obedinam and miracles happened in that house. We declare oh, today that we carry Jesus. We host revival in the mighty name of Jesus and we declare today that we receive divine speed, we receive divine favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Thank you, Jesus, today for your word. Thank you, Jesus, because we declare those who are sick are healed today this morning because, Father, by your stripes they are healed in the mighty name of Jesus, King of glory. If you have a need today, we we call you to the altar. We call you to the altar today and declare you are receiving. You are receiving in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your faith, oh, let your faith a mustard seed. Let your faith bring your result in the mighty name of Jesus. It's because of your faith. If you are sick in your body, you come to the altar in the mighty name of Jesus. And we declare here in today, if you are sick, come to the front. If you need anything from God, come to the front because it's by faith you are going to receive. It doesn't matter the result, but God is able to do it. He is able to do it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we declare, oh God, that your word is yes and amen. Your word is sharper than any double-edged sword, oh God. 
And today we declare, King of glory, that we receive, oh God, we receive your word in thanksgiving. And we declare if there's anyone today, God, that they are sick, they are healed, oh God. Those who are bound, they are set free, oh God. We declare, Father, you are able to accomplish everything, oh God, that concerns us, oh God. Today we declare, God, that the proverb was spoken against us today is no more in the name of Jesus, no more poverty, no more sickness, oh God. No more shame in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Oh, Rabashende Barakente Yamakanta. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we declare our children are taught of the Lord. And we declare, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, they continue to go from glory to glory. They receive wisdom like Christ did. And stature in the mighty name of Jesus. They are favored, oh God, in their schools. They are favored by their teachers and their coaches. They are favored, oh God, even those who work. In the mighty name of Jesus, if you have a need, you come to the front. And in the mighty name of Jesus, as the ministers lay hands on you, we receive by faith. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God is able to deliver today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, it doesn't matter whether it's a court case or God. Jesus has gone before you. He is the righteous judge. And no weapon fashioned against you can prosper. In the name of Jesus. We receive the grace for this revival today. And we declare in the mighty name of Jesus that we will obey your word. We will pray like Jesus prayed in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. We declare every tongue that rises against us, we condemn. Because that is our inheritance in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. We declare a king of glory. We will live and not die to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. In the mighty name of Jesus, Master, those watching us online, we declare God in the mighty name of Jesus, King of glory, that they receive the same grace that is here in the mighty name of Jesus. And they receive their healing, oh God. We declare, Father, you are opening doors for us that no man can close in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare, who oh, oh, you guess, lift up your hands so that the King of glory can walk in in the mighty name of Jesus. Who is the King of glory? The King of glory is the Lord mighty in battle. He is fighting your battle this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we declare, oh God, Christ of the sons is hosting revival. And we declare we are going to Kenneso, we are going to Aquod, we are going to Marietta, we are going to every corner of Georgia and Atlanta in the mighty name of Jesus. And we declare God, oh, we are depopulating hell for you in the mighty name of Jesus, King of glory. We declare every tongue shall confess that you are the Lord. Every knee will bow and confess you are the Lord. We declare God, in these days you are pouring your spirit on all fresh and everyone will prophesy. Our king children will prophesy, oh God, that all men will see visions of God in the mighty name of Jesus. It is written, it is written in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Father, that oh God in the mighty name of Jesus, you have given this earth to us, oh God. And therefore we take dominion, we take dominion because the creation is waiting, waiting for the sons of God to be revealed. And we declare we are here, we are here in the mighty name of Jesus. We are here, we are revealed in the name of Jesus. We carry exploits, we carry exploits out of our berries and spring, waters of living waters in the mighty name of Jesus. Rababa Makanta. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because everyone will be different today. The things that they never used to do before, they will be able to do it, God. Those who may have been depressed, today they receive joy. Because the joy of the Lord is their strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the sick say they are healed. In the mighty name of Jesus, those who do not have jobs, right now we command jobs to open for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we say thank you. We say thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we have faith in you. 
We have faith in you, Jesus. We have faith in you, King of Glory. Oh, Ribaba Shende Ba Ribaba Ba. Rikante Re Re Baba Shende Re. Oh, we thank you, Jesus, this morning. Thank you for your word, oh God, that is able to give us an inheritance among those who are sanctified in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you this morning. We honor you, for it is in Jesus' name we pray and we believe.